The House of Representatives resumes a day after suspending plenary in honor of one of its members. A matter of urgent public importance is raised by the minority leader, urging the federal government to rescind its decision to exclude the Standards Organization of Nigeria and the National Agency for Foods, Drugs, Administration and Control from the ports and borders in a fight against influx of substandard goods into the country. Since the expulsion of Son and Nada from all borders and ports, there has been unabated importation of substandard products into the country by unpatriotic Nigerians. There are agents that are doing these inspections at various countries that have been where the goods have been shipped. Those agents should be recertified to be sure that any goods they sign meets the quality required. People who are given responsibilities should do research before they come out with policies that will jeopardize and take us 100 miles back from where we, we, are, we are just uh, coming out from. And that in 2018, Another matter of urgent public importance, drawing the attention of lawmakers to the sealing of Nigerian-owned shops in Ghana by Ghanaians, is also raised. Further concern that in 2018, the enforcement of the Quick Notice Initiative commenced and it was properly communicated by the Ghanaian Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Ms. Shirley ayoko -Boche, that this GIP law would not affect Nigerians or other ECOWAS citizens. However, the National Association of Nigerian Traders warned the minister that the law could spark xenophobic I mean, attacks from ignorant I mean, persons. And following the conclusion of the budget defense process, the chairman of the Committee on Appropriations presents and lays the 2020 appropriations report before the House. This House do receive report on Committee on Appropriation on a bill for an act to authorize the issue from Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation with a total sum of ten trillion five hundred and ninety four billion three hundred and sixty two million three hundred and sixty four thousand eight hundred and thirty naira only. The committee's report shows an increase of about 260 billion naira from the initial 10.3 trillion naira presented by President Muhammad Buhari. The report is expected to be considered by the House on the next legislative day. The final figures harmonized with that of the Senate and transmitted to President Buhari for assent. Terry Ikumi, Channel's Television News.